In this demo, we're going to take a look at how to do a fabrication panel in CAM350. This should not be confused with creating an assembly panel, which is often used to limit the number of boards or individual boards that go down the assembly line. A fabrication panel may contain some assembly panels, or it may contain individual boards. So to get there, Utilities, Panelization, Panel Editor. We'll go to Setup, and we'll define some of the parameters of our panel. Now we can define things like the panel size if we want to. Um, we can add specific coupons that will automatically populate based on our layers, or drills in this case. Or the easiest way is I've already created one. I'm just going to load that up now, and we'll use that panel. Okay, so this panel already has some fiducials or uh, punch targets already set up on it. It's got an IPC coupon, as you can see over in this preview. It's got a drill check coupon, and it has some pinning holes in the corners as well. So we'll click OK. We go to Create. Now when we go to Create, it asks us to specify the layer stack up. So we're simply just going to tell it the layer sequence for this particular design. Click OK, and now it'll show us how many boards will fit in our panel. Well, one thing we know is we're going to route out our panels, so we're going to need to put some spacing between our boards. Okay, so it looks like we can get 20 boards in this orientation. If we rotate 90, we can only get 18, so we'll probably go with the 20. We hit Create, and it spaces them all out for us. Let's take a look at them with the uh, circuits turned on here. Okay, and you'll notice that these coupons have already populated based on, again, the layer sequence. And uh, in the case of this drill coupon, the drills that are used on this particular design. Okay, so the next step would be to add venting. So let's add a robber bar around the edges. Since we have a one inch border, we'll use that entire border for our rubber bar. And we want to offset the, uh, the rubber bar from any symbols we have out in that, uh, that waste area outside. Uh, we'll choose which layers we want to add it to, and we'll add it to the top and bottom. And we'll do a redraw here, and it'll simply just show up there. And you'll notice that it keeps it away from all of our coupons that we've added here. Next thing we might want to do is add a, uh, a thieving pattern. So we can do that as well. Uh, we can let it, that go to the panel edge. Uh, we'll offset it from our images, though, as well as, again, offsetting it from our symbols. We'll pick the pattern that we want to use, in this case a dot pattern. We can change the step and repeat of the dot pattern if we want to. Which layers we want to add it to. So we'll add it to the top and bottom as well. Click on redraw. And it'll go ahead and add that thieving pattern for us. You can zoom in there and kind of get a look at it. Uh, let's turn just the uh, top layer on so you get a better look at it. So we've added a thieving pattern all around and in between the boards. Uh, if we're concerned about partial uh, patterns or pa partial dots that may cause slivers, we can turn on the no partials option here to get rid of those. And the last step is we might want to add this to our internal layers as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll add another venting pattern. Uh, we'll let this go to the panel edge. Again, we'll offset it from our images and our symbols. We'll use that same dot pattern on our internal layers. We'll pick our internal layers. Click OK and OK. And let's just take a look at one of those internal layers.